how to sell product on google sites hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you quick two simple easy methods that you can use to start accepting payments or start selling your product on google sites now what are those two methods First off, you can integrate Equid, and that is only doable if you have under five products. So if you're someone that is looking to sell their product on Google Sites, you can use Equid as a integration and build your checkout on Equid, and you can sell upwards of five products, not more than five. However, if you're someone with more than five products, you can use Stripe. So Stripe allows you to build checkouts for your product and you can build checkouts for any of your products using Stripe and they only take a small transactional fee whenever a transaction is made. If no transactional, you know, if no transaction is made, then you don't have to pay anything and that makes sure that you are able to, you know, uh, sell your product without incurring any extra costs. So let's get into it. I'll create our first product on Google Sites. I'll just build a simple website. So let's say this is going to be cashmere luxury and then we're just going to resize our text a little. I'm going to enter the name which is going to be affordable cashmere. That's the site title. Then I'll insert a image over here. And this is just a very simple design that I'm doing for our website and I'll just click on open over here. I'm going to change the header type to a larger header and below that i'm going to drag and drop this content block which is you know three images and then some text and i'm just going to make it a very simple website that directly has a checkout so first off i'm going to click on upload image and i will upload a couple of images that i have kept for our product so we're going to upload the product images over here let's say that we have yeah here they are Let's say first off, this is our first product, then I can upload the second product image. So let's say this is our second product and then I'll click on upload. And let's say that this is our third product. So this hasn't been uploaded for some reason. Click on upload over here. And once all of our products have been uploaded, what we're going to do is we're going to add buy now buttons over here. So how can we integrate those? First off, we have Equid and I already have an account. So I'm just going to log in and I'm just going to click on sign in with Google like so. And once we sign in with Google, we are going to go on ahead and create our product on Equid. So to create our product on Equid, we can see on the left we have a dashboard, a my sales section, a catalog section, marketing reports, and more. And what we're going to do in Equid is we're going to go into product. And once you go into product, we are going to click on add new product over here. Now, once you click on add new product, just enter the title of your product. So this is our first product, which is a silk shirt like this. And I'll click on upload images and I'll just upload the image of that product which is this one once we've done that we can enter a sku number as well as the weight so it's 0 0.5 and after that we have a description so this is 100 percent pure silk then you have a ribbon product subtitles on the right you have the pricing let's say this particular you know this particular shirt is 28 dollars after that once you've clicked on all of these options you're going to click on add buy now button and you're going to click on embed product and we're going to stay on this page click on save on the top right then click on buy now button click on embed product and you have the choice to how you want to embed this product now because i have created these types of sections i don't need to directly uh, build this layout so instead i can just use this simple button only and click on generate code and copy that now once i do that i can go on ahead and insert that code over here or oh, not not the code i'm sorry about that i will go ahead and click on the right go ahead and add a button so i'll name this button called buy now and then i'll just link it not the button i'm sorry guys oh, we're just going to add our code click on embed click on command v in the embed code section click on insert now and now once we insert this this will embed the buy now or purchasing button and i'm just going to resize the button over here and you guys will see the button in a second 
it can take a little bit of time to load up for the first time. And once our button is embedded, we can place it into this text box right over here. And we can insert our own text around the element as well. So you guys can see this is the buy now button. And I can add the title of the shirt as well. So this is our silk shirt. Or if I want to build a separate product page on my Google Sites website, then I can go on ahead and click on pages. I can add a new page, which is going to be silk shirt. And once I add a new page, I'll change the header to title only. And then I can go into Equid. Once I go into Equid, I can click on customize setup. And this is going to be a full three column size preview. Click on generate code, copy this code. And once I've copied this code, what I can do is go back into my Google site, go into insert, go into embed, click on embed code, paste in the code over here. And once I do that and click on insert, the entire product page will be displayed like this. And once I've done that, I can click on publish for my Google sites website to have a checkout system where once people, I'll show you guys, once people actually view or take a look at your site, so if I click on view publish site over here and I go into this particular website, I can click on silk shirt and you know, you guys can see at the bottom, you're going to have a buy now button, click on the buy now button and this will redirect people. Or if they go into the actual homepage of silk shirt or, you know, the individual product page, click on add to bag and then they can click on go to checkout and this will lead them to the checkout of Equid where it's actually the checkout of Equid, but it's integrated directly into Google sites. Now you can also do this with Stripe. So with Stripe, you're going to pretty much follow the same method in the way that you're going to go ahead, go into Stripe. You do have to activate your account. Make sure that you're able to complete or activate payments. You can't receive payments until you've set up your Stripe account completely. Once you do that, you can go into more and you have a payment link. So you have no code payment links that you can create and you can click on new over here. You can add your product. So click on add new product. And this is going to be silk shirt that you're going to add or, you know, whatever your product is, click on upload and upload the image of the product. So this is our product image. I'll click on open and then I can add a description as well as a simple price. So our shirt was, I think, $27 or $28. And then we have the payment type. If it's one time or recurring, this is going to be a one time payment. And I'll just click on add product. Once I do that, I can collect customers' addresses. If I want to require customers to provide a phone number and the number of payments that can be done, and let's say the total number of maximum payments can be five, and then I have advanced options. But I'll just click on create link on the top right. And once I've done that, I can click on copy. Go back into my google site site and pretty much do the same thing where i can build my checkout so whenever someone clicks on the stripe link they would be led to the stripe checkout not a google sites inlay so if i edit this page which is our home page like this and i'll insert the google and the stripe code now so i'll just go on ahead and click on this is our yeah this is our button for stripe and i'll just click on button over here and once i add the button i'll name this the buy now and then just add the link to stripe and click on insert and now if i click on publish i'll just click on publish and i'll refresh my site and you will see at the bottom that we will have our new google sites page so let's wait for the changes to be completed and now we have the google sites buy now and if i click on that it redirects me directly to the stripe checkout so in this way, you can get started with integrating payments for Google Sites and selling products on Google Sites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.